Welcome back guys. You've just fallen into the non-lost souls vortex. Welcome back. And in this episode, we go and explore Dartmoor, the mystical and magical land of Dartmoor. Hi guys, Hi. <laughs> welcome to Van Life. We're laughing now, because, well, we're not, because I was nearly in tears, but, right? There's we Luna are. on a lovely industrial estate. Yeah, where we parked up for the night. Perfect park up. In Dartmoor, and we decided, oh, let's take dogs for a walk, and locked, locked the car uh, van up, but we do it manually with our hands, so we lock them out and use that way. The keys are inside. And the keys are inside. Yeah, yeah. So, we phoned the RAC, because we're with them, can't help us. We phoned all these 24 hour um, locksmiths that are local. About seven or eight of them, I yeah, think right. none of them can that. Everyone was answer machine, yeah. one was too far away. Yeah, so we are stranded, three hours away. Um, we've got the dogs, it's cold, we're cold now, luckily it's not raining. Yes. Um, but we spoke to a guy down there, and he said go speak to him. He's on his way now. We're on a, yeah, he's like, it's always very nice and well done. So we'll, we'll go now because yeah. we we'll thought we'd document this because. And we'll this keep you posted if life. we get in there or not. This is actually bad. Good morning. Uh, we wanted to get in the van last night after a lovely fiasco that it was of accidentally locking the keys inside. Um, thankfully, a guy from the factory down the road called Carl, thank you, Carl, uh, he managed to get in with. Uh, World in Wire. Uh, yeah, so real, thankfully. Uh, yeah, so this is where we stayed last night. It's on a industrial seat next to a couple of factories, and warehouses, school up in Dartmoor. And it was a really, really peaceful night. Uh, no interruptions. Uh, I think we're just knackered after everything, which happens to be honest. But yeah, it was a lovely night. A bit grey and visual today, but we're going to explore some stones and stuff after breakfast. It's absolutely amazing. It is. Yeah, because I could lose these now. 
people well this is tonight's parker hopefully if the rest we get moved on all being well we won't there she is look Luna with Billy sat with all <laughs> so we are still in the middle of Dartmoor we're somewhere near Fernworthy Stones which is up there, so we're going to go for a nice little walk with the dogs later on. Hopefully tonight we don't lock ourselves out. Uh, there's a bit of a road here. Uh, we haven't seen one car and we've been here for about two hours. That's quite nice. There's no parking up our road or driving our road. But... Oh god, here she goes. I mean, <laughs> yes, Billy. Stay there, don't get too close. Looking a bit rough today. But, yeah. me and Steve were talking about the term van lifers. So, what do you classify a van lifer? Is it somebody that's full time or is it a weekend warrior? Because we personally think van lifer means. That's not yours yet. Van lifer means. Van lifer means full timer. Lives in the van. At, and you really should call yourself a weekend warrior if you're just going out at weekends. So drop us a comment because we really would like to know what all you lot think. So van lifer, full timer, weekend warrior, just weekenders. Yeah? Yeah, so there you go. Yes. So we'll let you know. My hair looks good. <laughs> what? Please tell me my hair looks good. Yeah, looks good. There you go, it. So hopefully, yes, all being well, we don't get moved on and uh, keep up to date tomorrow morning.
Well, good evening, guys. Uh, we got moved on. Yay, good old uh, fun. So we've got another park up. Quite stealth now. Can't see any of the lights on. They're all on inside. Got all our spotlights on, fairy lights and whatever. Can't see any of them. Looking lush. But yeah, so uh, the police turned up and uh, it's only about nine o'clock when it happened. And they were lovely guys, to be fair. Uh, made the sort of stead, you can't really park here. Dartmoor is a big no-no. Uh, the rain just could turn up any time. Um, yeah, but all oh, good. Very nice guys. Uh, had a little chat with them. They understood where we come from. And he says, you know, the minor minority ruin it for the majority. Uh, you know, people like the chemical toilet people and things like that. But yeah, it was uh, lovely. But anyway, back kind of where we started earlier this morning uh, by Oakhampton Castle. Uh, it's a lovely little parker. So hopefully we don't get moved on from this one. Let you know in the morning if we get that far again. <laughs> So if you've got this far, why don't you think about liking, subscribing and hitting that bell? It really does help us out. Well guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the journey with us. So until next time, safe travels. <laughs>